All right, so for this one, it says consider the parent function f of x equals e to the x, and then the transform function g of x, which is negative f of x minus 4. So let's just graph that and then take a look and see what's going on. So when I, um, I, I already have the parent function plugged in, but now if f of x is e to the x, negative f of x is just negative e to the x, and then we have to subtract 4 from that. So what this is going to do is this is going to it's going to flip it's going to flip the e to the x over the x axis um, and then shift it down four units. You'll see. So notice that e to the x kind of grows exponentially up, or from your perspective this way, and then now we're going to shift down and we're going to grow exponentially down. Okay. So let me take a little screenshot of that. And we'll just put that on the. We'll, we'll put this on the thing and then we'll answer the questions. So it says, which of these, which of these, um, features of function f and function g are different? Well, the range is certainly different, right? Um, the y-intercept is certainly different. I tried to do that with my mouse. So it doesn't work out as good. The y-intercept is certainly different. Um, the horizontal asymptote is certainly different. And the end behavior is different. Now, when they say end behavior, um, we're talking about what it does as it approaches x to positive infinity, right? So this one here, f of x goes to positive infinity in the y direction, but g of x goes to negative infinity in the y direction as we approach x towards positive infinity. And because they have different, um, different horizontal asymptotes, then the end behavior is different here. F of x approaches um, zero as uh, you approach negative x or negative infinity in the x direction. Um, but this, the g of x approaches, it looks like negative four. So, so that's it on that one. Okay.